and welcome to Angelic Plans. In today's video, we are going to be setting up my September layout in my memory journal using the DEK Designs subscription box for September and putting it in my very, very chunky um, B6 daily classic from Aurora Stella. Like, look at that. So, September. Is way over here, and I'm gonna have to fold this in half again. Put this to the side. It doesn't even close. The the B6 um, Moterm does not even close. I'm gonna grab a chunk. over here and a chuck from over here and hope that holds it down okay so here is the September monthly I do have the video of me unboxing this so if you would like to see it it will be linked at the end of the video This is a very pretty kit that has, is, it's definitely bringing in fall. So, you can get the monthly right here. Um, if you've never been here before, this is what I use for my memory journal is the EK Design subscription box. Um, I do use the B6 size again. The only thing that is a B6 size is the monthly. Everything else um, that comes in the kit is a standard. I did the add-on with the Hobonichi journaling kit. So you're seeing that here. But it's this uh, standard size that comes with the kit. So keep that in mind. But let's see how we're going to lay it down. I need more coffee. September. Okay, so I like to do, I think it's the washi at the top. All right, let's do that. Oh, look, there's a little um, rose gold foil uh, at the top of it. So I'm going to want to make sure that I keep that in there. I'm going to turn it upside down. I am shrinking uh, the box just a little bit because I want to make sure that I have the um, that little bar of foil at the top. Did I go to the end? Yes, I did. I'm gonna do this. It's not straight, but hopefully that's the right length.
All right. So we're in September. September. Um, I have, if you watched my August videos, I was in the search for my 2025 memory journal. So I don't know. Ooh, that's already pretty. <laughs> um. It's already pretty. I was in the search for my memory journal um, that is going to come with me to 2025. And I had already did all of my August layouts. So like the debate was, which planner am I gonna use? Do you know which planner has this? Da, 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 like that. And well, I found the planner that I wanted. And then all my other videos were like, you have to wait. I'm not going to spoil it. Da, 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 da. Well, the wait is over. The planner I'm going to use is the, oh, what's it called? I think it's the, th the 365 from Aurora Stella. I did her pre-sale and it's the one that mainly has um, the monthlies and then it goes into the dailies. So I don't need a month. I don't need a weekly layout. And I got an A5 size. So, I got the A5 size. To go with, um, I'm going to go bigger. I need more space. And I know I was going to go for a sterling ink. I'm going to just put you put you out there. So my big thing was I was going to do the common planner um, from sterling ink. And I went against it. Um, nothing against sterling ink in itself. But... Um, I had watched a video of Whoops I Did It Again Co. with Becky and I don't know I think it was like a year ago but she had just tried out the BC I mean the, um, the common planner like that's what she was trying out well if you know how Becky does her layouts and how she sets up her planners she tips in she adds like there's a lot of layers. I don't even know how to explain it. There's a lot of layers to Becky's layouts, um, to Becky's setups. And it couldn't even, it didn't hold. So with that, I, that's when I was like, mm, I really don't want to do that because I use the EK designs. Their stickers are pretty thick and I, that's what I love about them. Um, is how they're thick and how they can make a planner chunky. And then I get the papers and so I tip in the papers. And when I tip in the papers, this bad boy is going to get chunky real quick. So, that being said, that's what veered me from not utilizing um,
the common planner. Pretty much, pretty much. All right. And then because I have all these empty boxes over here, they're bigger. I'm just going to layer it. like this and there we have it so this is a Sunday start it's about to get converted to a Monday start all of that away so I don't accidentally try to use it. And here we go. It's a Monday. So I will be using, I believe I got the 365 um, planner from, I got Aurora Stella. I just have to remember which one. And I got the A5 size. And I did her pre-sale, so I have it. I'm super excited um, with it. I did get it dated. I don't know if it's a Monday or a Sunday start. It doesn't matter to me because, as you see, I will make my changes if need be. And I am supplied with the stickers to do so by DEK Designs on their subscription. So, there you have it. Um... And then I need to put down September. I really don't want that to go into. So I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. Just like that. All right, and then we're going to do our days. Let's see. That means I'm not going to have the first on here. Because the first is a Sunday. Or do I start it here, one. And then this moves over. Wouldn't it all move down one week? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty. So I'm gonna go without the first being on here. That's what I'm going to do. Because I technically need the whole roll down there at the bottom. And I don't have the extra squares right here. So, so here's um, a fun fact that happened to me the other day. Uh, I am a huge coffee drinker, okay, huge, and I don't, like I do, I used to do two pots, now I only do the one pot, I get one pot a day, and then I try to go into like a water, um, and that's like to come back, if I'm like, ah, then it's just kind of like to bring me back down, 
Um, but normally I don't get all jittery with coffee and I do enjoy the flavor. So it's more about the flavor than anything else. Well, now that I'm going to school and I'm walking like all day long between classes or whatever, um, I was getting super, um, I was like, oh, I need to drink more water. I really don't need to have all this, you know, sugar on my system and this and that. Ha. Well, I decided to change my coffee cup, uh, my Stanley, into a water mug. So now it has water in it. And I pass out in class. Like, straight up, like, I'm gone. I'm asleep. You know how embarrassing that is, being that I'm an older person. It was embarrassing. Like, I cannot believe I did that. At all. Is it this? I think it's this day. It's no school. But yeah, I did that. I have football games out the wazoo. But I think I just want to label Rikers. Is that bad? I know he has a game on the 19th. And I know he has a game on the 26th. Do I have it written down somewhere? Of course I do. I moved all my tabs. What? Well, it'll tell me whether or not he has two games or one. Okay, so this one he does have two games. So he has one on the fourth and one on the fifth. All right. And then this. Practice. Oh, they have a doctor's appointment on Friday the 13th. I have to change that. And then he has two games on this week, so he has the 11th and the 12th. I know he has one on the 19th. Okay, that's all he has on that week. All right. And then, let's see. I'm gonna have to reschedule the doctor's appointment, but I will put it right there. And then 
My friend has his birthday right here. And then I'm going to put this month right there. And then currently reading, currently watching, and currently listening to is right there. And then we have football games on these days. We get to bye week on the 10th, I think. Isaac also has games on Thursdays and Wednesdays and all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to leave that blank. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my next page, which is blank in this daily classic. It is blank. And then I'm going to use some stormies. I'm going to use my calendar. And hello, September. And I think I'm going to use some sticky notes because I like how that looked last month. And some more stuff from the monthly part of the kit. So if I look, I did do washi. So let's knock that out. I am in love with these colors though. There is that. It's going to bother me just a tad. All right. So there's the top. And we're going to do the same thing to the bottom. This is the last planner that I have to decorate for the month of September. I have all my planners decorated and ready to go for the month of September. Fun fact, September was the seventh month. October with its eight, mean, oct, meaning eight, was the eighth month until they decided to add January and February or something like that. Like, it's kind of crazy. I was reading on that one day. It's a little knowledge for you. All right, and then I take this bad boy 
and I just set it over here. It is a Sunday start. And then I put Hello September on this side. Now this will go there, this will go there. I got some stormies over here. Um, I want to see which way did I do the bills. So I did the big ones over here. I don't want the bills on my memory page. But I'm only doing the bills in my memory journal to use the kit. It's fullest. All right, now I have these. And I want to use the big ones. So I'm going to use this big one, this stormy over here, and then I'm going to use this stormy over here. Okay. We have one, two, three, four. One of our cars is paid off, so the other one is just still needing to be paid. Utilities, and I'm going to use the other utilities. It's technically for the electric, so we got water and electric. And then extra bills that are due. Like 
car insurance and things like that, like other major bills. I'll probably put my subscriptions or something over here. I'll put my payday totals over here. And that is the household payday totals. And there's four of those, so there's that. And then I'm gonna take the sticky note, because it looked really cute last time. Right. So maybe I need to switch. I don't know if these will come up. They should. I do not want to tear Stormy. Okay. switch this around so I want this to be like coming off the page hello September I need some double sided tape Same thing. And then Stormy can go right here. And then I'll cut off the extra. There's that. Then I have these stars. And I'm going to use the purple stars to help hold this down. I used four on that page, so I'm going to use the other four on this page. Same thing.
Okay, so did that. I still have this stuff. I still have this stuff. I'm gonna save those for Isaac's appointment. I kind of want to use, not really the one with the leaf because I already have it, but the blueberries. I think that'll help hold that down. Okay, so here it is. This is my monthly layout using DK Designs. And I have it all set up. I have some washi left right here. I have some appointments. I have some more washi over here. So I have extra left over. So this is just the back end of the month. And then we have the monthly. So here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you did, please come back and see how I set up the rest of September utilizing the DK Designs subscription kit, um, the subscription box for the month of September. I'm super excited to do it. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And until next time, bye.